Hello Falcons family! I'm here with news for you. So stay tuned until the end and I'll tell you everything. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to the channel. Let's get to the news! As the Atlanta Falcons prepare for their highly anticipated Week 1 matchup against the Carolina Panthers, they've made several roster moves to fine-tune their squad. These changes include the signing and the waiver of defensive and the elevation of two players from the practice squad. With the game against the Panthers looming, the Falcons have added running back Godwin Iguabike to their active roster. This move raises questions about the availability of running back slash Joker Corderell Patterson for Week 1, as Patterson is listed as questionable on the injury report. While Iguabike's signing may suggest a potential absence for Patterson, it could also serve as a precautionary measure. Iguabike displayed his skills during the preseason, impressing both as a runner and a return specialist. The Falcons may have decided that Iguabike's talents were too valuable to risk losing from the practice squad, prompting his promotion. Regarding the wide receiver position, no corresponding moves were made, which implies that Cadero Hodge is likely to play on Sunday, barring any unforeseen setbacks. The departure of veteran Joe Gaziano, who was waived by the team, is a notable development. Gaziano had shown promise as a versatile depth piece on the interior defensive line. The hope is that he clears waivers and returns to the practice squad, providing an opportunity for him to rejoin the roster in the coming weeks. In addition to Iguabike's signing, the Falcons have elevated two players from the practice squad. Tight end Parker Hesse, who led all tight ends in snaps in 2022, is expected to see significant playing time. Furthermore, impressive undrafted free agent defensive back Natron Brooks has also been called up, indicating that he will make his NFL regular season debut and have an opportunity to contribute. Now tell me, do you think it was good for the Falcons? Write in the comments! Don't forget to leave your like and subscribe to the channel. I'll be back soon with more news. Go Falcons!